Hello guys, I'm Madhuri Navle. In previous video, we have discussed about the resonance in series RLC circuit. Now, we will discuss about the resonance in parallel RLC circuit. So, let's start. What is parallel resonance? See, similar to the serial RLC circuit, we can have the resonance in parallel RLC circuit also. To understand the parallel resonance, let's think about this diagram. Uh, in this circuit diagram, we have connected the RLN in series and we have connected one capacitor in parallel to this series combination. So at particular frequency called resonant frequency FR, the applied voltage V and I will be in phase because at resonance condition, your RLC circuit becomes purely resistive circuit which we have discussed in the previous video of the series resonance also. So let's the sinusoidal voltage V of the frequency F is connected across this parallel circuit. The current I will get divided into the IL and IC. IL will be the current flowing through this branch 1 which is containing the R and L in the series and IC will be the current flowing through this branch 2 which contains only capacitor. So current through the branch 1 that is the branch containing R and L in series is given by IL is equals to V by ZL where ZL is the R plus JXL. Here the branch 1 is RL circuit, RL sir series circuit hence the current IL lacks the applied voltage V by some angle say phi L. So how to find the phi L is equal to tan inverse XL upon R. Now in the second branch, branch 2, this is the purely capacitive circuit hence the current IC leads the supply voltage by exact 90 degree. So how to find the IC is equal to V upon XC where XC is the capacitive reactance which is given by 1 upon 2 pi FC. So at resonance V and I are in phase, angle phi will be 0 and hence the cos phi that is power factor will be 1 that is unity. Therefore the resonance condition is called as the unity power factor condition. Now since this parallel resonance circuit can draw the very small current and the power from the supply therefore this is also called as the rejector circuit. Okay, series parallel resonance circuit is also called as the rejector circuit. Now we will see the resonant frequency in the parallel resonance circuit. See the value of inductive reactance means XL is equals to 2 pi FL and the capacitive reactance means XC equals to 1 upon 2 pi FC. Both these values can be changed if we change the supply frequency means as the uh, frequency increases here then the value of XL will be increases okay and consequently it will increase the value of ZL also. As a result there is a decrease in the magnitude of current I2 and this I2 current lags behind the voltage V. On the other hand if the value of capacitive reactance increases then consequently the value of IC increases because in the capacitive circuit, the frequency and current both are directly proportional. Now, we will derive the uh, formula for this resonant frequency in the parallel circuit. See, at some frequency, means at resonant frequency FR, the IC will be equal to IL sin phi L. Okay, here if we put the IL as V by ZL, sin phi L will be XL upon ZL from the impedance triangle and uh, if IC equals to V by XC then if we put these three values means IL, sin phi L and IC in this equation then we will get the new equation as V by XC equals to V upon ZL into XL upon ZL or we can say XL into X equals to ZL square okay so uh, again we will uh, we can write this equation as omega L by omega C equals to ZL square or R square plus XL square. Here if we uh, put this value of the omega that is 2 pi FR on the right side then we can 
write this equation as L by C equals to this R square plus omega means o 2 pi of F R into this L bracket square or we can cut this omega and we can write the XL as 2 pi F R L square. Okay. So, uh, keeping the 2 pi F R L from one side and under root L by C minus R square on one side. Again, we will keep only the F R one side because we are going to derive the expression for the fr only so we will keep the fr on one side then uh, what will remain 1 upon 2 pi l which is nothing but the under root l by c r square okay or we can write it as 1 upon 2 pi under root 1 by l c minus r square by l square so if r here in this equation if r is very small as compared to the l then the resonant frequency will be fr equals to 1 upon 2 pi under root lc and this is the expression for resonance frequency at parallel resonance condition. Now we will see the current in parallel resonance circuit. See this graph of the current and frequency here you can see the curve here at point f equals to fr we get the current very minimum. So, the value of circuit current that is I equals to V by Z is very small because the value of Z is very high in the parallel resonance circuit. This is the impedance in parallel resonance circuit point. Here the impedance is very maximum uh, and uh, because uh, the ratio of L by C is very large in the parallel resonance circuit and this effect, effective resistance can be uh, given as Z equals to L by C R. Fine. So, in parallel resonance circuit, the impedance is maximum and current was minimum. Now, the phasor diagram for parallel resonance circuit. This is the phasor diagram for parallel resonance circuit. Here you can see uh, we have drawn the voltage as reference because this is the parallel circuit. Then we have uh, taken the IC and IL here. The IC will be equals to IL sin phi L and IR will be equals to IL cos phi L. Now we will take the resultant of these two that is IC and IR then we will get the third phasor as IL. Fine. So at resonance condition the circuit draws the minimum current. As under this resonance condition the reactive component of the circuit is suppressed. Fine. Now we will see the quality factor and bandwidth in the parallel resonance circuit. We have discussed these two points in uh, the previous uh, video that is the uh, that was the series resonance circuit. So likewise the quality factor Q for the series RLC resonance circuit was the voltage magnification at resonant frequency. Likewise quality factor Q for the parallel resonance parallel RLC resonance circuit is the current magnification means increase in the current at the resonant frequency. The formula is same as that of the series resonance circuit that is Q equals to 1 upon R under root L by C. Now, the bandwidth in the Parallel resonance circuit can be found again same as that of the series resonance circuit that is bandwidth equals to FH minus FL and unit of bandwidth is Hertz. Okay, now at last we will see the comparison between series and parallel resonance circuit. See, uh, the first parameter is impedance at resonance. We have discussed in the previous section or previous video that impedance for the series resonance circuit was minimum and for parallel circuit it is maximum, right? Then current at resonance. For series circuit, the current was maximum and for parallel circuit, it is minimum. Now third will be the effective impedance for series resonance circuit the impedance z will be equal to r because at that condition circuit becomes purely resistive and in parallel resonance circuit your effective impedance will be equals to l by c r okay now the resonant frequency for the series resonance circuit the formula for the resonant frequency was 1 upon 2 pi under root l by l c for the parallel resonance we can uh, write it as 1 by 2 pi under root 1 by LC minus R square by L square 
or if the value of r is very small we can also write the resonant frequency for the parallel resonance circuit as same as the series resonance circuit that is 1 upon uh, 2 pi under root lc okay then the series resonance circuit uh, it magnifies the voltage means it increases the voltage fine so the voltage magnification takes place in the series resonance circuit and in current resonance circuit sorry in the parallel resonance parallel resonance circuit the current magnification takes place the series resonance circuit is also called as acceptor circuit because in this circuit or this circuit can have the capability to draw the maximum power and current from the supply or mains so it's called as acceptor circuit but the parallel resonance circuit cannot have the capability to draw the maximum current or power from the supply and mains so it's called as a rejector circuit and the power factor for both the series and parallel resonance circuit is unity because at resonance condition means when f equals to fr or when xl equals to xc then at that time your rlc either series or parallel circuit becomes purely resistive circuit and for purely resistive circuit the power factor is one that is unity so for both series resonance and parallel resonance circuit your power factor will be unity so in this part of the resonance in parallel circuit we have seen first uh, first of all we have seen what is the parallel resonance after that we have seen the resonant frequency and its derivation then we have seen the current impedance and phasor diagram for the parallel resonance circuit after that we have seen what is the quality factor q and bandwidth for the parallel resonance circuit and at last the very important point we have discussed that is the comparison between series and parallel resonance circuit fine so this was all about the resonance circuit uh, i hope you might have understood this uh, part if having any query please discuss me uh, on my email id mtnowle at kkvac.edu.in so see you soon take care bye bye